Hello and welcome to my presentation on our research on digital twins for renewable energy systems. My name is Carlotta Tuboeuf and I'm a university assistant at the Institute for Energy Systems and Thermodynamics at the TU Wien. Before presenting the two research projects DigiWind and HydroTwin, let me explain the basic concepts of a digital twin and why it is such a promising technology. The transition from fossil to renewable energy sources is essential in order to reduce the carbon footprint. However, a challenge that comes with the increasing share of renewable energy systems in the grid is their volatility. Renewable sources such as sunlight or wind cannot be buffered to provide energy on demand. Therefore, the interoperability of renewable energy generation energy storages and users is necessary. With the ongoing digitalization in the energy sector, also called Energy 4.0, emerging technologies help to improve grid imbalances, optimize energy flows and reduce energy consumption in general. One key enabling technology on the way to Energy 4.0 is the digital twin. While a digital model represents a physical object without any form of automated data exchange between the physical and the digital asset, a digital shadow incorporates automatic data flow from the physical to the virtual entity, however without taking into account a direct feedback from the virtual to the physical asset. A digital twin is characterized by a bidirectional data exchange between the physical and the digital component whereby a change of state within one of the two assets is directly leading to a change of state in the counterpart. This enables interoperability between the physical component and its virtual representative, which again leads to increasing flexibility and transparency. Economic benefit is promised through the numerous opportunities a digital twin entails, such as predictive maintenance, fault detection and prevention, or increased energy efficiency through process monitoring and analysis. Even though the potential of the digital twin concept for the energy sector is undoubtedly large, a holistic approach to make use of the excellent scalability of digital twins is still missing. This is why we at the Research Unit of Industrial Energy Systems are aiming to develop a general method for modeling digital twins of renewable energy systems. In order to achieve that goal, we regard three different types of energy systems in our research on digital twin approaches and merge the findings into a universal framework for digital twins in the renewable energy sector. In the project 5D Industrial Twin, a vertical packed bed regenerator that is set up in the TU Science Center serves as the use case for the analysis of the five-dimensional digital twin approach for thermal energy storages. For more information about this project and the 5D approach, please find the link to the presentation video by my colleague Paul Schwarzmeier in the description box below. The development of a digital twin platform for wind farms, tested with data from a research wind turbine at Fraunhofer Ives, is the content of the project DigiWind. And finally, the conceptualization of a digital twin for pump storage power plants is performed within the project HydroTwin. Hereby, our lab scale pump turbine at the TU Wien Science Center acts as the use case. In the following, I will give some insights into the research projects DigiWind and HydroTwin. Challenges of wind energy include the fluctuation in weather occurrence and the inhomogeneity and distribution of on and offshore wind farms. Further, the information about assets is difficult to access and the remaining useful lifetime of wind turbines is often unknown. This is a big issue for asset owners trying to manage the future load carrying capacity for their wind turbines. The project DigiWind takes these challenges into consideration by developing an open source digital twin platform for wind turbines. The main goals of the project are establishing a knowledge base for managing data from wind turbines 
the development of a method for managing modular models which accommodates the modular structure of renewable energy generation so that in-house models of asset owners can be combined with third-party models. Further, the calculation of the remaining useful lifetime of the components will be implemented. Based on the remaining useful lifetime, the remaining useful capacity can be used to optimize the turbine operation. And finally, the digital twin platform will be designed in a way so that it is extensible to wind parks with dozens of wind turbines and further connected components. The research project DigiWind is carried out together with the Automation Systems Group of the Faculty of Informatics at TU Wien and the Fraunhofer Institute for Wind Energy Systems at Bremerhaven. It is funded by the German-based Scientific Association of Energy System Operators, the VGB. The project is scheduled for a duration of one year. Similar challenges are met in hydropower systems and pump storage plants. Due to the decentralization and decarbonization of the energy market, the demand for flexibility of energy storage systems is increased. Compared to former cycle times of days, in the future, pump turbines will have to switch between operation modes several times an hour. Due to their limited lifetime, a growing number of the world's hydropower plants will need to be refurbished and modernized in the next few years, while the know-how of the asset owners is hardly available to others. Within the project called HydroTwin, we want to increase the flexibility of pump turbines using the potential of the digital twin approach. The operation of the pump turbine will be optimized through automation and bidirectional data exchange. Increased flexibility of the asset will be achieved through acceleration of the start and stop processes for the shift between pump and turbine mode. With respect to the increased flexibility, the start-up for the operation as a pump will be optimized with machine learning methods. This interdisciplinary project between the research units, industrial energy systems and fluid flow machinery was made possible through the Women's Promotion Program of the Faculty of Mechanical and Industrial Engineering and will terminate in May 2024. In both research projects, DigiWind and HydroTwin, a promising method in the context of the optimization of energy systems within the digital twin approach is being examined. The application of reinforcement learning algorithms. Reinforcement learning is an area of machine learning inspired by behavioral psychology theories that uses the trial and error concept to find an optimal strategy for the considered problem. A so-called agent interacts with the environment. In our case, either the physical or the virtual model of the digital twin and learns from the rewards given to it by this environment. Because reinforcement learning does not need exact mathematical models in order to achieve good optimization results, it is suitable for the high-dimensional, highly complex processes in energy systems. It also aligns perfectly with the required bidirectionality of the digital twin since the reinforcement learning agent's output can be directly fed back to the physical unit of the digital twin. Our future research will thus reveal if the promising combination of the digital twin approach with the reinforcement learning method holds true. If you have any questions considering the conceptualization of a digital twin, the presented research projects DigiWind and HydroTwin, or any other related topic, Please do not hesitate to contact me or René Hoffmann, the head of the research unit Industrial Energy Systems.